Hey, Jeff. Yeah. Somebody said, hey, Jeff. Hey. What are you making? Roasted vegetables, uh, cauliflower and onion and uh, fennel and garlic. That's just the fennel. Oh my god. Dude, there's nothing better than onions. Caramelized onions. This is right. Then I lost a lot of respect for Martha the other night when she said she didn't like Morrissey. Yeah. Your onions need salt. They'll get it. Alright. Hello, somebody from Colorado. Do you need any more of this uh, rosemary? That's time. Time? Yeah. Or at least <laughs> age, rosemary? No, um, I have all the sugar here too. Strikes again. Nobody can hear you because your music is too loud. My next tattoo is gonna be well, a. Uh, you Australia. My next tattoo is gonna be a Smith's tattoo. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get a uh, sweetness. I was only joking tattoo. Sweden and Portland. And that's gonna be my apology to you for 11 years of uh, making bad jokes. Uh, that's not really enough of an apology for me. It's not enough. It's England, Sweden, Portland, Alaska, New York. To the human world. California. Tell me, tell me hot dogs. I'm gonna go to all of those places this year. Puerto Rico. Not going there. Are we watching the Oscars tonight? Yeah. I mean, I am. Well, you don't know, too. I might edit this then. No, I'm gonna be prepared. I'm gonna be prepared. Arizona. Mobile, Mobile. Alabama. Ooh. <laughs> Chicago, Nigeria, Canada. Charlotte. Right. Australia. Hey, what is your favorite Smith song, Jeff? Oh, that's easy. Hi, Redditsburg. The best Smith song is This Charming Man. Philadelphia, Scotland, North Carolina. Cincinnati. Exotic Cincinnati. You're gonna wash that, right? No, I'm gonna peel yeah, it off though. Everyone saw that. Gross. That that part doesn't get eaten. It's got skin on it. You know, we're gonna go see this band soon, Griffin, you and I in June, I believe. I already bought tickets. Cool. Do you know who it is? Refuse? Yeah. Speaking of Sweden. I don't know, were we speaking in Sweden earlier? I thought I yeah, somebody here in Sweden. Congratulations, Hey, North Dakota says, hey. Hey, North Dakota, sucks that you're not South Dakota. Exotic Cleveland, uh, we're about to be in you. We're going to go well, in Penetrate uh, Cleveland. Heading to the Cleve. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, the Yacht Let's Play today was great. So, I don't had nothing to do with it, but thank you. Let's take this chicken out. Hey, we need to uh, make some room for the chicken so I can pour some sauce on it. Or I can just pour the sauce on and leave it in there. Yeah, do whatever. Hey, Arrow, out of the way. Out, out. All right, watch out. Watch your legs, Jeff. The thing I'm worried about is that the sauce gets in between the gap because it's just layers of tin foil. Woo! Sort of uh, yeah. sauce made of apricot jam and seeded mustard. Put yeah. on the chicken. The chicken's been cooking for 10 minutes just with salt and pepper, and this is gonna cook another 15 minutes. If anybody wants to know, just apricot jam, some uh, like uh, gray poupon mustard, and uh, some fresh thyme leaves. And it just sort of cooks on medium, medium high for like three minutes until I got syrupy. Hey, um, Jeff, I think we need to put a pan under it because I think it's gonna drip. And I don't wanna make the house full of smoke. So if you could do that. I'm trying to, oops, shit. Sorry, I'm kind of drunk. Whoa. But don't, oh, somebody has to put the veggies in there, don't we? Veggies go right here. 
Yeah, but are we gonna be able to fit it? I don't know. Oh, we can put the veggies under it and just let them get syrupy. Yeah, there you go. Solutions. So I can't oh, get in there now. Super into not helping us. But I get it. I was like that when I used to read. I mean, I still read now. That's not a way Back when you used to read. I read all the time. Not I don't know. Do I'm audiobooks happy. count? Do you guys think audiobooks count as yeah, reading? Uh, I'm just happy that she's gotten the reading book. The reading bug. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, somebody has to read Mice of Mice and Men tomorrow. Nola. Oh, dude. Of Mice and Men is one of the best books you'll ever read. Read it in. Can you? You read it in one sitting. It's like super short. It'll take you two hours, maybe. And it's fucking amazing. And you will cry. And you will cry I mean, so much. Definitely cry. You might be able to hold it together. I'll cry if I think about it too much. <laughs> I remember being 16, 15 years old and reading into my dad's Lazy Boy sofa because I had to for work. Or my Lazy, lazy Boy chair for work. I had to read for school on a Sunday and being like, ugh. And then when it was over, just like, just sitting in the chair and crying and hoping that they didn't come home and see us. How you know, book made me cry a lot. The Mists of Avalon. I never read that. My mom read that. I never read Oh my god, so good. I would read it again. We should read it together. The fact that she liked it made me not want to read it. Oh man, it's so good. My mom was a. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna put this shit down. Then we turn it down. You know, rock and roll. Yeah. 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 The whole point of cooking is listening to music and being. Yeah, awesome. but you can't. Fucking, you can't even hear you. Yeah, I'm saying something Jeff more important. Cry, that is very true. Do we need to turn this down? It's starting to get a little. Uh, it's probably done. All right, turn it off. You saved your. Oh, I forgot to time our chicken. It's probably 14 minutes now. That was probably a minute, right, guy? What do you think? For those of you who stick around, like a minute. Another book that I've cried over. Um, kind of, I'll, first thing that comes to mind is Bridge to Terabithia back when I was a kid. Did you ever read that one? Everybody cries at Bridge to Terabithia. I don't even know if the younger generation knows about a Bridge to Terabithia. There was a movie. I don't know, man. Just, do you guys know Bridge to Terabithia? Have any of you read it? Jeff crying over things should be a drinking game. <laughs> you get very drunk very fast. <laughs> it should be more like a drinking shame. Fifth grade. It's very sad. Great book. I'm trying to think of other books that made me cry. All right, I'll read right now the Career Self Help. I'll show you what the book I'm reading. It's awesome. But I have not cried about it yet. Negotiating with Giants. Get what you want against the odds. It's actually, can I tell you, for this kind of book, it's pretty entertaining. It's enjoyable. You suck. I've enjoyed it. You suck and your ideas suck. Is this marginal? You read a little bit of that book. I read the first Time. two pages because it was fucking hilarious. Marjorie didn't exist in the grocery store. He was on the mountain in the Philippines, or Peru. <laughs> no, but Next it's... Next to the 70-year-old shaman <laughs> who said, pluck the pea from my hand and you will be the master. And I said, I'm already the master. I'm a corporate giant. <laughs> I have made companies succeed and I have crushed my enemies. That is not true. And all I had to do was focus and touch <laughs> The P. No. You you did not read that book. Harry Potter made us both cry. The seventh book? Oh my god. Uh, um, me more than her. For we sure. were both reading it. We'd have to take breaks. I'd read like a Gavin, paragraph. Gavin was laughing at us the whole time. Read a paragraph, hand it over to Jeff because I couldn't human. talk anymore. And then he'd read a paragraph and he wouldn't be able to talk anymore. It was terrible. Dude, when Harry went into the woods, when Harry. Dang. I... When he chose to sacrifice himself for his friends. And you realize that he wasn't any more special than not. All right, yeah. It's a, uh, it's a good book. Gavin has a soul in there somewhere. Should we just haven't found it. No, it's someone. Meg no one's found it. Meg hasn't found it. Meg might have found it. The cat hasn't found it. I'm pretty sure Meg hasn't found it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh man, that alpha jam is so good. I just want to drink it. 
All, uh, fifty dollars right now. <laughs> it's, it's gone. We used it in the sauce. There's only like a lickable amount. Dude, this is gonna be good. It tastes like baby fish. fish. How long do you ship for? You ship it like at 15 minutes or what do you guys want? Yeah, well, um, yeah, but I don't know. I wouldn't trust that. It doesn't seem like enough time. I don't think it's going to work for us. You might, well, let's you just might have fucked us, Ramsey. Why? Because you started the veggies too soon? This has got to be 25 minutes. I just, okay. I started the veggies first. I said you start chicken. Well, I'm sorry that I'm more efficient than you are. Your ship fault. was easier. It was not easier. Right, can you pull that out? And besides, I helped you with the cauliflower. Not cool. <laughs> you like us arguing? You know, by the way, I tried to work out with this uh, album the other day, and it is not, not a workout. No, it is not a workout album. It's like, man, I just want to commit suicide. <laughs> you don't want to commit suicide. You just want to sit in an armchair and think about your life. Yeah, it was just like hard. I felt like I weighed like I don't know, like that I had a head, head oh, weight you, on my shoulders. You actually, you have 15 minutes plus three minutes on the broiler. Oh right, okay. Yeah, right, so yeah. you've got some time. We can just keep it warm on the other too. Yeah. Whatever you gotta do to unfuck your, the fact that you did it wrong. Somebody thinks you should shave everything but your beard. Yeah, but yeah. Alright. Alright, what's your go-to workout music, Jeffrey? Uh, The Adventure Zone by the McElroy Brothers. <laughs> it's a podcast, a D&D podcast. That's my go-to workout music right now. You're a if nerd. not that, then Car Talk. <laughs> Classic reruns of Car Talk. Or uh, the Howard Stern Show. I don't really listen to music that much. The problem with workout... Working out is you want time to get, to pass quickly because it's fucking miserable. It's a lot easier to listen to people talk and tell a story than I think it is that, listening to music. Well, I books think. books on tape are good, but actually music I think helps you get into a trance-like state. So if you're having a hard time when you're in the cardio space, well, especially. Transition. Well, get in, into your trance-like state. Well, here we go. See, I'm thinking that. It's a multi-layered joke. There. Oh, okay. Um. Anyway, I was going to say, oh, I think electronic music that's got like a nice pace to it. Shut up. I'm really into Blockhead right now. Blockhead's all right. Let me listen to that record. Oh, wait, there's actually some in here, so why don't you just put a lid on the it in there? Uh, look at me, way ahead of the game. You were totally going to throw it away. I was not going to throw it away. That's a goddamn thing. Nobody believes you. <laughs> Rancid? I've never tried working with Rancid, but I bet it would be fun. Rancid? Energetic? You'd have to listen to an it's album seven fun. times to get through one workout. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, I like Rancid, but it's wrong. Or maybe it's the best work at ever, you just run until he's done. <laughs> did I ever tell you about the time I hung out with Tim Armstrong? Nah, uh, may maybe. No, yes, I never probably. did, so probably not. I didn't, no, did. it was a trick question, you failed our marriage. Well, yeah, but you've hung out with a lot of punk people. Because I am awesome. Because you disguised yourself But I have never met Tim Armstrong, no. <laughs> no. Jeff used to write a zine, everyone. I wrote lots of zines. <laughs> Are any of you guys old enough to know what a zine is? <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys all know what the vodka is? Some people here say they're old enough to know what a zine is. I don't believe you. <laughs> Zines were what, how, what passed for information in the 90s. No, it That's was how you stood out and expressed your feelings. Uh, I don't know. You told the world about how uh, fucked up something you read about was. You misspelled a lot of things about the environment. <laughs> yeah, a lot of top, a lot of uh, cutting and pasting. <laughs> I made a zine once, but I never distributed it. Was it all like feelings? I just put feelings? a lot of work into it. Oh, yeah. Were you had, super? Did you have so many feelings? I had a lot of feelings. I still have a lot what of feelings. What was your zine about? But I think my feelings were pure back then. Was it about <laughs> Terabithia? No, it was, you know, was it about I don't know. how hard it was to be different in Oregon? I was trying to be different in Oregon. Was it about how hard it was to be white in Oregon? Shut up. How Stop complimenting. How, how hard it was to be academically liberal in Oregon? <laughs> I do like Tool. Thanks for asking. What do you think, Jeff? How I you, think you are. What? How do you feel about Tool? I like that first album. No, I think the Enema was better. No, no, I'm sorry. I think I like their album that was good. I think they had the one in high school that had. With Sober and Prison Sex. I think that dude was a good singer. That's opiate, right? Who <laughs> cares? What is his name? Maynard? Maynard. I thought Maynard was a good singer. I've heard he uh, he was uh, he was addicted to sex and porn and used to have what well, is famous for having anal sex with uh, prostitutes. He's famous for it, huh? Yeah. I mean it's like his thing. And then I heard he found God and got real lame and stopped making good music. 
God will do that to you. He'll kill your creative drive. All right. Okay, so um, are we done now for like anything interesting to the show? Should we say goodnight? You don't learn so many things from John. You do. <laughs> I know so much about everything. Okay, so do you want to say goodnight? Or do you want to keep going? Wait, how many how, minutes? Wait, how... When... <laughs> what was the time route when I put the chicken in? Or when I put the veggies in? No idea. I would say, how long has it been? Maybe two minutes? Three minutes? No. <laughs> what do you guys think? Three minutes? Fifteen, maybe? When did Jeff put the veggies in? Arrow, stop. Somebody says five. I don't know. I think that's... I was at least five. Really? I feel like it was at like 15 when I saw it. Do your dogs have arthritis? If they do... Everyone, a lot of people are saying five, so I don't wait for five. I recommend uh, Terp Cinevial Flex Soft Shoes. Yeah, you suck. Alright, um, so I would add five minutes to that probably. Or take five minutes away. Add five minutes. Sit. Shake. Oh, 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 oh. Well, put it in your mouth, jeez. Anyway, our house is really dirty. I don't really want to show it. Where's it dirty? Yes, it is. Don't look below. Okay, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna say goodnight. Are you gonna say goodnight? Alright. Hey, thank you for joining us. If you open it, it doesn't cook. I don't want to see it. That's for dinner. Alright, so we should have some plates for the family. Oscars! Bye, good night.